Hi guys, welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes of Vegas with That Vegas Vibe. Today featuring one of my favorite hotel and casinos here in Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay. Let's go in and check it out. All right, guys, Mandalay Bay is a huge property, so this might go a little bit longer than 15 minutes. It's at the far end of the strip on the south side. Some people, they don't like that. They wanna be a center strip, but today I'm gonna show you why staying at Mandalay Bay might be a great choice for you. So out here, guys, is their area. Kind of like I said, right out in front by the road. This is their enchanted garden. Now, unfortunately, right now, as you can see, the water is all drained out. Not quite sure why or what they're doing. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section. Hoping that they'll bring it back soon. It is really nice to come through here when the water's going on a hot summer day. So just this massive area in here. Oh, shh. People are sleeping. So we'll be quiet. There you guys go. Oh, so beautiful. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. All right. So even if you guys are not staying here, there's a lot to do and see. And this is a great selfie area when the water's going. Like I said, right now, it's not on, it's no working. But hopefully, that'll be fixed soon. So let's head on in, you guys. There you guys can see, if we go back that way, we were where we just left, Enchanted Garden. So this is for the shuttle and tour buses and the valet pickup is there also. You can also get to the Enchanted Garden from the second level, but I wanted to start down here at the bottom level. Thought it would be fun. Let's get inside. All right, guys, we just entered the lower level here at Mandalay Bay. There's a lot of things down here. This is, you can get down to the beach, the spa. That is all down on this level. You also can get to this level by just going, if you're staying here on your elevators in the hotel them, themselves. So we're gonna go upstairs now to check out the lobby and the casino and some of those other areas. I love the feel here at Mandalay Bay. It's one of my favorite places. And the water's not running over here either, so I wonder if they're conserving because it's summer. No one knows, no. All right, guys, so now we are on the main level here at Mandalay Bay. And we're gonna go to the left here before I show you. Here is Hazel's Coffee and Cocktails. If you are not a Starbucks person, they do have great coffee here and it is right by the elevators. So it's easy to get to. If you like the nightclubs, here in Vegas, the foundation room is what they have at Mandalay Bay. It's on the highest floor. Haven't been there, but beautiful, beautiful views. All right, guys, so around the corner here are the elevators. The nice thing here at Mandalay Bay is the elevator banks are all together. You're not going to different parts of the hotel to get to the elevators. All right. So now we're getting to the main lobby area. So let's show you a few things in here. So if you are gold or above, which I am for 90 days, I did the tier match. Go see our tier magic episode to see how you can go from, from pearl to gold for 90 days. So this is your priority check-in in here you check in obviously don't forget to ask for your upgrades we got an amazing upgrade that video check um, check that one out for our room here 
I just asked for the upgrade. They also have some waters and some chips and snacks in there that you can take. We love the free. All right, guys. So if you have somebody who has mobility issues, the parking garage is way on the other side of the casino. I will show that to you guys. We got to think ahead, right? Especially for those of us who have some issues. You know, they can't walk long distance, anything like that. This is where you're going to drop them off. Okay, as you can see, it's not, it's right there is the check-in, right back there's the elevators. So don't, it is a long walk from the parking garage to here. So any mobility issues, don't try to make that walk, especially on a hot day. Okay, so back here, guys, you're going to have your bell desk, your, um, some other things as well, FedEx, things like that. Here is your check-in line. A little bit busy right now, but I've seen it busier, okay? So definitely, guys, if you're checking in, you can, I do not suggest mobile check-in. That would be over here. Unless the line is super crazy and it's super busy, go talk to someone. Get your upgrades, get the view, get the floor you like, all of that. It'll be worth it even if you have to wait 20 minutes. Okay, so let's go uh, this way. Like I said, guys, it's a huge property and there's a lot of things here. You've got the convention center going on. You've got a really nice size casino here and I generally do halfway decent. This is my favorite place to play, honestly. Also, if you're doing anything at Allegiant, guys, if you want to be as close as possible, this is the closest hotel to Allegiant Stadium. So, food for thought. It might be the most expensive, though, on some of those events. Okay, so here are your elevators. You guys can see it's busy. It's a Monday. So, it is crazy. Look at all the people. I'm scared. I need an adult. I think some of the conventions just got out. I see a lot of people with um, laptop bags and name tags on. Okay, so there is a little market over here if you need something. Once again, guys, I'm gonna suggest that you um, get your things off the strip. It's been a long day. Okay, so casino, guys. Now, hopefully, we don't get shut down. We've been shut down here before, but we were vid doing videos on the floor itself uh, while we were playing. So once again, here's the other side of Hazel's. Loud people playing. It's busy. It's crazy. A lot of families here. Summertime. 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 All right. So, as we walk down here, guys, we have some stores, okay? There's a few stores on the casino floor, but there's more stores up in Mandalay Bay Place. So here's some of the stores we've seen a lot of the MGM properties. All right, guys. Now, some people will say, I don't like staying down at Mandalay Bay. It's south end, nowhere near the center strip. I disagree for a couple reasons. One of them is you can get to center strip without completely dying. And to do that, you would walk down here to this tram station. You would get on the tram here. You would take it all the way to Excalibur. And from Excalibur, you'd get out, you'd walk to Park MGM, you'd get on the tram at Park MGM and go all the way to Bellagio. So it's still a little bit of a walk, but it is going to cut, that'll cut your walk by more than half. So up here, guys, is the tram station. Also, this particular tram stops at Luxor and of course at the end at Excalibur. So you are connected on the outside to three hotels if you go on the tram. You can also get to Luxor and Excalibur from inside. 
So that's what I like here. I always feel like I'm getting three casinos for the price of one. So if you are thinking, I want a nice hotel, I want to not have to go outside, but I want multiple casinos, Mandalay Bay. You cannot go wrong. All right. So still, as you guys are kind of seeing here, there is a lot of options for slot machines. They have a lot, but we're gonna stay on the outskirts. We're not gonna go inside the casino because that's where I've been shut down before. So I think if we can stay on the outskirts, we're gonna be golden. All right, House of Blues, guys. The food there, I'm gonna be honest with you, breakfast, we've had it a couple times, it wasn't good. It really felt like they just kind of had it all pre-prepared and it was kind of lukewarm. We've had lunch and dinner here, been pretty decent. We've also, as a family, back in April, we came and saw Tesla here. It was amazing, guys. This stage here, if, if you can come see anybody you like here, it's such an intimate setting. Like we were making, we were about the second row back, you're in the standing area by the stage. And they could see us, they were throwing pics at us, we were interacting with them. So it's just such a intimate way to see your favorite band or any band that you like. So they've got a bar. This was recently updated here as well. It's outside here of House of Blues. All right, so once again, like I said before, guys, if you're doing something at Allegiant Stadium and you want to be at the closest hotel, it's Mandalay Bay. Okay, so you can come to this end here to get to the stadium. You go over to the side, takes you outside. When there's a big event, they close the um, overpass and you just walk over there. It's a little bit of a walk. So, you know, keep that in mind, but it's the closest place and you get a great hotel room. Okay, so over here, guys, you have Starbucks. There is another Starbucks location, so we have two here. You've got the little ice cream place. All right, you've got Big Chill over there. And like I was saying, guys is one of the things I love about Mandalay Bay is you are easily connected to two other hotels one of the ways or the way to get inside to Luxor you go up these escal this escalator here to the Mandalay Bay no Mandalay Place the shops at Mandalay Place there's shops up there there's our favorite pizza place slice of Vegas for and there's a Mexican restaurant and there's some cute little stores you just keep walking and when you get to the end, you're at Luxor. And then through Luxor, you walk through Luxor and there's a hallway that will take you to Excalibur. So it's a good option. All right, so we've got a newer restaurant, Flanker Kitchen Sports Bar. Haven't tried it yet. Let me know in the comments if you have what you thought about it. All right, so I love Mandalay Bay. But my number one choice would be Delano. And I know, I know, it's probably, people call it Delano, I call it Delano. So that is where you would find it. It's even a better location um, because you can go right here and easily get to Luxor, but the rooms are great. All right, they have been updating this casino, guys and they are going to starting in 2025 they're going to be remodeling delano rooms and mandalay bay rooms the rooms are already pretty great but that's just going to be amazing when they're completely renovated and updated okay oh right here guys if you want to see the michael jackson show the ticket office is there and michael jackson won the um venue for it is right back there we're not going to walk all the way back because we're already past 15 minutes and we still have more to see. All right, guys, so there. this is a big sports book. 
So as you guys can see, huge screens, lots of seating. So if you're into that, this would be where you would come. Okay. So shortly here, we're gonna get into some of the newer things that have been happening at Mandalay Bay. We've got a new, all kinds of new stuff coming. So we'll go check it out. Got a little cigar shop over here. Okay. And we wanna kinda of stay away from security, but over here is your security, as well as your MGM rewards and cashier. And we're just being kind of quiet because I've been busted about three times here for recording. Doesn't stop me because I want to bring you guys the latest. All right, so over here, guys, it's kind of a fun place to go if you want a bar to go to and you like music and maybe a little dancing rhythm and riffs. We have several times come here and gone dancing. They do live bands. Um, usually kind of like on the weekends. So if you're down here, check them out. It's, it is fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so some new things. And some old, we got just our little, one of our little essential stores over here. Okay, S bar. Say the last six months, it's newer. Okay. So Wolf Game Cook's restaurant that used to be here. Sorry, I don't remember the name. If you know the name, tell me. Um, they kind of rebranded it. And now it's Karma Wolf Game Puck. So I'd like to try that sometime. And here's some more of the S bar. Okay, now, and then something else that's coming in the, this fall is a really cool place it's got street food it's from london new york washington dc there's going to be cocktails and it is called swingers <laughs> not that type of swingers that guy golf clubs so it's going to be a mini golf course it's supposed to be a couple stories up it says coming fall 2024 We'll see though. All right, guys. If you self park or you're doing an Uber, you go out here, okay? There's an elevator over here, there's escalators. That's your parking garage. So you guys can see if you are staying here and you have any mobility issues whatsoever, you don't want to park in the, you don't, you can valet, you can drop people off, but don't park and try to walk there if it's going to be hard for you because it is say one of the, the top longest walks for hotels from parking garage to your room all right guys so like i said this one this used to have open seating so you know i could really look and see what somebody was eating and smell it all right so over here, we have another restaurant. This one's more of a cafe type feel. It's called Citizens. Sandwiches, salads. They have breakfast here. They have a, this is your to go area. And they're generally opening pretty late. Another new restaurant, Orla Mediterranean by Michael Mina. That used to be La Flor. And now it's something new. Like I said, changes. Something within the last year, I think, is retro. Super cool looking restaurant. And you could probably guess that it's retro food with a fun little spin. All right. So you guys can see it looks pretty cool they have like a spaghetti -o meal they've got some meatloaf pot roast haven't eaten there yet let me know if you have 
All right, guys, we are not going to walk all the way down because it is a long walk. And I just kind of want to give you the highlights of why this is an amazing place to stay. If you keep walking past Strip Steak, and they have a Japanese restaurant here, Libertine is also right here. You can see there's a Starbucks down there in the corner. There's also some other restaurants on the border, or Border Grill, no, I'm sorry, Border Grill is down there. Also, this is where you get to, where you can get to the um, convention center. If you're going to an Aces game, you would walk down here to get to that. Um, it's also the food court. They have a, a food court with like Subway, and a, um, Italian place, a Johnny Rockets, places like that. They're not, their hours are not great. And I've had some not great experiences down there. But it, and also Shark Reef, super cool. You can get some great deals using my Vegas app, some free entries and buy one, get one half price. So definitely check that out, but we're not gonna go all the way down there because I don't have all the time in the world. All right. So as you guys can see, Mandalay Bay has a lot to offer. They have some shows with the Michael Jackson one. They've got some places to go, a place to go dancing. Um, plenty of places to play. Plenty of great restaurants to eat at. Easy access to Luxor and Excalibur. And you can still get to the center strip probably in about a half hour. So not too bad for Vegas time. Something new that's coming soon, guys, is Bob Marley. It's an exhibit. So this is opening in late, late this year, late 2024. So pretty cool, something new and exciting here. There's your rhythm and riffs. Okay. So we're just gonna go look at a couple more quick things. As you, like I said, guys, big property. You got two Starbucks, very important to remember that, right? So. And the rooms, guys, are great at Mandalay Bay. The, they're larger rooms with bigger bathtubs, even for the standard ones. So check the rooms out too. All right, guys, we kind of made the ground circle tour and we saw most things in here. So over here, guys, if you're looking for breakfast or lunch, there is the Sea Breeze Cafe. Ate there for breakfast this morning. Ask for those food credits, get those food credits, use them. And they also have the noodle shop, another place I need to go. All right, guys. Well, there you guys have it. 15 minutes plus, not too bad. <laughs> of Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino. Well, we did the casino we and we did the property. Make sure you guys go watch my room reviews for Mandalay Bay. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys next time on the Vegas Strip. Bye.